Hello! In this video, I will be discussing how to handle emailing and paging from ESC. There are a few things you can email from ESC. You can send dispatches to your techs, which is called paging, send mailers to customers, email sales invoices to customers, and purchase orders to your vendors. It is a great utility that can save you quite a bit of time and effort. To get started with this, there is one main thing that needs to be set up in ESC. You will need to enter the SMTP server settings into your software. Just think of SMTP server as a fancy acronym meaning your outgoing email server. One thing to mention is that if you are on Exchange or hosted Exchange, we cannot help you configure the Exchange settings. You will need to have someone with knowledge in Exchange to configure the settings so that it will work with ESC. Also, I will go over the SMTP settings needed to make this work, but if you are not sure what the specific information should be, I recommend contacting your IT consultant or email provider to find out what the settings are. Let's go to Company, System Setup. Once here, go to the Email tab and make sure you are on the General sub-tab. The first field is the SMTP server. Like I said before, this pretty much means Outgoing Email Server. When you have those settings, you can enter the server or IP address here. Next is the login user and password, which is just the login used to access the emails. The next field is the port number. Depending on the email provider and security, the port can be one of many, so make sure you are given the correct setting for this. Login method has two options. Authenticated login, if the SMTP server requires authentication, or auto, if it can just be connected to. Use SSL and use Start TLS are just extra security that email providers use for authentication and encryption of emails. While we are in the System Setup screen, there are a couple places we need to go to to put in some return email addresses. The first one is within the Email tab. Click on the Addresses sub-tab. There are three sections, one for sales invoices, one for purchase orders, and the last for status notifications. Enter a display name for each and an actual return email address. Usually, you will need to make the return email address the same as the login user for the SMTP settings. There is also a checkbox, so that if an email is sent from any one of these modules, it will send a copy back to the return email address. If you would like this capability, go ahead and check the box. Otherwise, leave it unchecked. Another area that needs to be set up is the Tech Email section. This portion determines not only the return email address, but what information is sent to the text. Go ahead and fill in the username, user email address, which is the same as the return address, and a subject. Now below the subject, you can choose if it will be a condensed message. This is used if the tech will be receiving the message as a text message on his device. Text messages have a character limit that is usually determined by the carrier or the device manufacturer, and the condensed message option will help to send the information with as little spaces and breaks as possible to get the data there in its entirety. The last part of this screen lets you choose the information you can send to the technician. All you have to do is check the box next to the field option for it to show up in the email. One thing to keep in mind is that the addresses subtab and the tech emails tab are not global, so it will have to be set up on each ESC workstation. Now that the setup is out of the way, there are only two things left to talk about. Where to put in email addresses and knowing where to send emails from. To send out emails to the techs about their dispatches, which we refer to as paging, you will have to modify their technician record in ESC. Go to the Dispatch menu and choose Enter Technicians. Select the tech and click on Edit in the toolbar. Now fill in the email address field for them. To be able to send a message, you can either do it from the dispatch itself or the dispatch board. In the Enter Dispatches screen, choose the email option from the toolbar. This will only work if it has been assigned to a technician with an email address. If more than one technician is assigned to a dispatch, all technicians assigned will receive the message. On the dispatch board, you will need to click on a dispatch and then go to the Activities menu and select the Email Tech button. The Email Tech button can be added to the toolbar by right-clicking on that toolbar, selecting Customize, and then choosing the Email Tech button. For emailing sales invoices, quotes, or other messages from ESC to a customer, you will need to make sure the customer has an email address. This is entered in as the primary contact line of the Locations tab in the Customer Entry screen. Let's email an invoice to a customer so that you can see how this works. You will need to open an invoice on the Sales Invoicing screen. Now click on the Email button on the Sales Invoicing toolbar. 
This will bring up an email window where you can modify or enter the email address, carbon copy address, and or blind carbon copy other people a copy of the invoice. You can also type a message in the body if you desire. If you find that you will be sending the same message to your customers or something close to the same message, you can always create a template by typing the message in the body and then entering a name for it in the template field. And finally, choosing to save it by clicking on Save Template. You can then choose if everyone will have access to it, just yourself, or if it will be your default template. One thing to point out is if you look at the bottom, you will see the name of the file that is going to be attached. This process is the same for emailing quotes and purchase orders out of ESC. Emailing purchase orders will follow the same rules, only it will send an email to the vendor rather than to the customer. Just make sure when you set up the vendor, you have an email address for them, or you will need to enter the address in manually each time you email. You will notice if you click on Email, it looks exactly the same as the email window in the Sales Invoicing screen. Just compile your message, or select your template, and then click Save. That's right, emailing out of ESC really is that simple. This concludes our tutorial on emailing in ESC.